Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah. If you're new here, welcome and welcome to my kitchen. Um, why are we in the kitchen? Because we are prepping for a birthday party. So I am a mom to one toddler boy and a baby on the way. I'm about halfway through, but this weekend we're gonna be celebrating my two year old. He turned two on Tuesday. We're gonna have the party on Saturday. It is now Thursday and I meant to do some prepping yesterday, but Rob got trapped at work and lots of other things had happened, so I didn't get any prepping done. So, we have a lot to do. We have to make up for yesterday. I've got some things that I needed to do today, and then tomorrow, I'm going to attempt to bake a cake, like a whole entire birthday cake. And like, I'm not talking just like a round one, but like I'm gonna make the number two, I'm gonna at least attempt. For today, we are, yeah, we're gonna play some catch up. So I'm gonna pull my hair back and, uh, We'll get into it. Also, I did not mention we are gonna have a car themed birthday party. Little Bub loves cars. He goes crazy over them. So I thought we kind of have to do a car themed birthday party. Last year for his one, one year birthday party, I did like a cactus theme and that was really for me. Um, but this year it's for him. We are doing a car themed birthday party. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I looked up on Pinterest car themed birthday parties and I saw a lot of like construction themed and then race car themed and I was like, I just want cars. But there were some good snack ideas I, I had seen. Um, a few of them were nuts and bolts, dipsticks, um, indie cars, and stoplights. I and I have sprinkled in a couple more things. Right now, we are going to work on the nuts and bolts and the dipsticks because I'm gonna have to break this up today and see how much I can actually get done. We're kind of smushing yesterday's work with today's work and it just, it has to get done today. So anyway, nuts and bolts. All right, I have everything with me, um, but first of all, before I start mixing everything together, I need to pull out the red yellow and green M&Ms from here so we can make the stoplights. So, I need like, I need a bowl. I need a bowl. Got a bowl. Got it. We are going to assemble the trail mix or the nuts and bolts. So I've got rice squares. We've got some sun-dried raisins and we've got Pretzels. Of course, the M's, which look how festive this looks. I mean, I know it's for stoplights, but that's so festive. So, I've never really done this. I don't know what the ratio should be. Um, but we're just gonna start pouring, I guess. in this for this. This might not work. So the next snack that I'm going to make are dipsticks, which are pretzel rods dipped into almond bark, chocolate almond bark with some white almond bark, um, like, what is it, drizzled on top. And while I am doing that one, I'm also going to make some chocolate covered cars. So these are, this is from Wilton. I got it at Joann's and there's just little cars and fire trucks and I thought I'll break up some pretzels into small pieces and whatever's left from the dipsticks, like whatever chocolate's left from the dipsticks, I'll just fill these up and sprinkle some pretzels in there. I don't know if that's gonna work at all, but we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens.
look like so far. I think possibly I have more chocolate to pretzels and that might be not the greatest ratio. Specifically that one definitely has a lot of chocolate in it. Um, but I think I am gonna go back over the backs of these and put some more chocolate over top. that I had planned for Wednesday. So we are now on to today. But right now we are having a little bit of a cuddle session. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but he just started crying and now he wants to be held. So I'm gonna go hold him and uh, I'll be back to work on the next set on our list. So this was actually the next day um, and right away I had gotten started on making the birthday cake and I didn't get any footage of doing that but right here I was actually working on the buttercream for the icing of, of the cake and I will link the recipe that I used for this buttercream in the description below. And I know I mentioned this a little bit later on, um, but I mistakenly used salted buttercream butter for this and it was definitely salty. So next time I will remember to use unsalted butter. And if you guys plan on making this recipe at home, don't make the mistake I did, use unsalted butter. So now I'm going to divide the buttercream into two different bowls and make them two different colors. I need a yellow and I need a green. I also need to keep some out for white. This has turned out a little bit more salty than um, I wanted, but um, I didn't realize that I used salted butter instead of unsalted butter. So, note to self, if I ever do this again, then I will use unsalted butter. So, here goes nothing, I guess. <laughs> I hope that actually turns out yellow. Also, update on the cake. The cake is in the refrigerator chilling and I'm about to pull it back out to be able to put like a crumb coat on it and then chill it again so then I can actually ice it and then decorate it. So this stuff I can store in the refrigerator. It says up to a week. I don't have a week but I can do that. <laughs> it definitely did turn it yellow so that's good. Okay. I think I'm gonna try a few more drops to see if I can't get it more vibrant. I have a feeling that's as vibrant yellow as I'm gonna get. So now I'm gonna stir in the green.
Oh, oh man, I, oh no, I don't think that was big enough. <gasps> it was, oh gosh. <sighs> this is awesome. Yes. All right, but I'm gonna turn. This is the Rice Krispie Treat um, stoplights, and this one I ended up throwing out because I used marshmallow fluff instead of melting down marshmallows. I don't know why I thought it would work, but it didn't. They never set up and like come together. So it was more like a Rice Krispie crumble, but in the end, it was okay that I had to throw it out because I ended up making a fruit and cheese version the morning of the party. Right here I am finishing up icing the cake with the chocolate icing and I'm doing quite a thick layer um, just because I wanted it to be somewhat smooth and even. I'm not sure if that turned out the greatest but it's what I wanted to do so we did it. So now I am taking some of the colored buttercream that I had made um, and striping the cake to make it look like a road. And then after I get that all iced to look like a road, I take some Hot Wheels cars and strategically place them so that they look like they're driving down the road. I thought it was the cutest idea. I loved it. I also ended up taking the green buttercream that I made and um, going around the cake. I wanted it to look like grass around the road. I don't know if it turned out, but I did like seeing the green against the cake with the other colors. It just felt like it came all together at that point. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I made that. I made that. It is now Saturday. It is 10.07. Party starts at 1.30. I need to blow up balloons. Rob is finishing up sweeping and cleaning for me. I'm going to open up this package. This has a few more balloons that I've ordered. Um, and I haven't seen them yet, so I want to open them. These are the cars. These are going to be big. All right. I'm in Cade's room because this is the only room that's, like, secluded <laughs> and quiet and... I was gonna say they can't find me but I think he found me so anyway these balloons are a little like the finish flag so that's really fun and then I got a really big number two and an electric air pump so hopefully that's not too loud but I need to get busy 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 So I'm gonna take this one out um, into the main area and Kate will probably see it and so I'm gonna try to get his reaction. I love that. Look at this. Do you like this balloon? 
Them, huh? We just gotta get them. I'm not sure, but somewhere. <laughs> okay, so here is our decorations. <laughs> Wasn't exactly sure how to do all of this, but I think this is okay. It's not a garland, but it's really cute still. So we like it. We like it. And all I have to do is set up. The other snacks on here. Well, clean off the counter, dress away, and then put the snacks on the table. Oh god, where's that? <laughs> 